Thus, the reaction of monosaccharides with proteins and lipids causes glycation, as monosaccharides non-enzymatically bind to these proteins and lipids, altering their shape and function. In general, this is thought to be one of the major causes of aging, that as time goes by, more and more of the body's proteins have been modified by reaction with these monosaccharides. Diet is obviously involved. A high sugar diet would thus potentially increase the amount of monosaccharides, which could potentially induce glycation in proteins and lipids. The amount of fructose as opposed to glucose in the diet would be relevant, since fructose is less stable and induces more glycation. And the addition of high fructose corn syrup to so many uh, foodstuffs as a sweetener thus becomes a potential health issue. In diabetes, blood sugar levels are elevated, and this would expose diabetics to a greater potential for glycation and many of the complications of diabetes, such as the decrease of vision, the decrease in wound healing, are caused by the accumulation of advanced glycation end products over time.